Well, on this last weekend before the U.S. Senate runoff election, both Democrats and Republicans are making their final appeals to Georgia voters. With the balance of power in the Senate at stake, the biggest names in politics are flocking to Georgia to pitch in. Texas GOP Senator Ted Cruz joined Senator Kelly Leffler on the campaign trail today. The duo held a rally in Cumming early this morning. Leffler then traveled to Jefferson, speaking to a small group indoors, and she also stopped in Loganville and Carrollton. Former Georgia Governor Sonny Perdue and former Texas Governor Rick Perry making several stops to bolster support for Senator David Perdue, including this one you're seeing right here in Woodstock. Purdue himself not able to campaign today in person. He is quarantining after being exposed to someone with COVID-19. The former governors also made stops in Woodbury and Calhoun. Meanwhile, Purdue's Democratic challenger John Ossoff rallied supporters early this morning in Stone Mountain. It was the first stop in a long day of campaigning for him. He later made stops in Athens and Eatonton, ending the day in Macon. And Democratic hopeful Reverend Raphael Warnock spending the evening in South Georgia. He held events in Valdosta and Albany. Well, tomorrow, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be in Savannah rallying support for the Democratic candidates there. Then on Monday, the final day before the election, dueling rallies all across the state. At noon, Vice President Mike Pence will visit Milner, which is just south of Griffin. Later that evening, President Trump will rally in Dalton. And President-elect Joe Biden will be in Atlanta. We are yet to learn the exact time and location of uh, that visit from him. And you can get more information on the election and check out our voter resource guide by going to 11alive.com vote. And if you have a question as we get closer and closer to the day or any concerns for our voter access team, then you can uh, text or email us directly.